Today on Trend, Ingrid shows us condo living in the beautiful Aria building. I'll share my DIY project for all the wine lovers. And we talk the latest technology in cooking at West Coast Appliances. We're in one of my favorite buildings today, right in downtown Victoria on Humboldt Street. It's the Aria. I've done lots of work here. It's gorgeous and Ingrid has a unit to show us. Oh, welcome Amy and I completely agree. Uh, there's only a few buildings in the downtown area that offer such a great location, quality, and the original design and commitment to providing uh, a high-end product was really paramount for this local developer who completed this building in 2008. What I love about this building and location as well is it has such amazing walkability. A lot of the units actually look out over the, it's lawn bowling, right? That's right, yes. Yeah. So there's two towers. Uh, this unit is in the south tower, which is a little bit more desirable in terms of sun exposure. There's some ocean glimpses too um, as well and mm -hmm. the Olympic Mountains. Um, but the, the overall location and the walk score is unbelievable. The access to, to shops and dining and entertainment and of course, you know, the outlook over the lawn bowling, which is classic of uh, this downtown area of Victoria. But the Humboldt Valley has really provided um, just a, a, a beautiful spot that's mm -hmm. really come together over the last um, 10 plus years. And it really is a great hub, whether this is your everyday home or where you come when you go to Victoria. And that is shown in this building. There is a, a lovely complement of full-time owners, um, mm -hmm. but also as example here, this was my clients who bought for an investment and it was an exceptional opportunity for them. They really enjoyed being a landlord and, and the experience of that, but it's time for them to move on. Mm -hmm. So for us, it was a, a nice segue into their next opportunity. But for investment quality and commitment, this is the type of product and building that you want to secure. Mm -hmm. With a newer construction and the quality that uh, Campbell Construction, who was the original um, builders as well, with the high-end finishes, even yes. though they're 12 plus years but old. They have stood the test mm -hmm. of time because I've done a lot of interior design in the units and in most cases we're not replacing everything, we're just freshening it up or working around it. These are Brazilian cherry floors in all the units. And that makes such a difference, especially mm -hmm. for an investor buyer where yes. they're not necessarily having to look at a complete redo. Right. Um, that is happening though in this building as well yeah. and um, that will probably be one of our next segments as well. I've got another investor client mm -hmm. who's taken a two bed, two bath and completely uh, remodeled it. Um, so that's yeah. for, for, for another time. But I love that. This, this home being a one bedroom and a den, it's mm -hmm. almost 700 square feet and the efficiency of the design and the bright uh, window exposures, mm -hmm. uh, the large balcony, you really don't feel uh, any compromise in terms no. of space. Even the kitchen, for example, you get a good sized kitchen, high end appliances, you can still do everything here. It's not like a squished apartment. Absolutely not. And mm -hmm. with the gas uh, cooking and the gas fireplace, mm -hmm. those are quality features that sometimes you just don't find in the newer downtown builds now. And yes. again, to the square footage, you've got your own in suite laundry and a really nice, luxurious uh, bathroom with heated tile floors and travertine tile. So again, that commitment of timeless products and design, it really will always pay you back. Well, and I know I've done a bit of work in this building as well on the common areas, all of that has been updated. And I remember hearing during that time that the developer loved this building so much and really had a real interest and passion in it and had some units as well. And that's, again, another testament mm -hmm. to uh, a commitment by a developer who has um, that uh, comfort in knowing what they're um, completing. Yes. And 
The commitment again to providing such a high-end luxury package, it's one of the few buildings that offers full concierge. Um, there's a fitness gym, uh, a beautiful lounge, uh, amazing manicured gardens that offer uh, just a really nice uh, amenity space that's built right into the, to the complex. And a lot of them have really nice sized patios as well where you can just sort of sit out there, enjoy the activities around you, whether it's Beacon Hill Park, the lawn bowling or maybe it is leaving the unit and going for a really nice dinner at all the restaurants around here. And that opportunity to be in a building in a complex that offers such diversity not only with unit types and price points right. that really provides one of the best options for an investor buyer as well because then you're not restricted to just you know one type of price point mm -hmm. or a potential tenant it really provides one of the best packages and as they say the aria is the best seat in the house that's so true John, it's so exciting to be back in the showroom again. I love coming and seeing everything that you have, all the inventory and, and product. Yeah, well, at least we have product now. Yeah, exactly. that, wasn't, uh, that wasn't so easy uh, over the last two years, as you know. Um, but we do, we have a lot of stock. We, uh, we ordered heavy on stocks to help uh, deal with the long right. lead times. And most of the product now, the lead times are starting to get better, but they're still in weird spots. There's still some inventory issues. So I think that's a common misconception because a lot of people still think that it could be two years out just to get a spa. Well, it could. I mean, if you, if you special order something that's kind of hard to find, maybe right. that'd be the case. But I think that we've really hedged that. You can see in the back, uh, I've got like swim spas in stock, which right. I could never have before yeah. I've got plenty of hot tubs in stock I think we have over 100 spas in stock right now so if somebody wants to avoid the next lockdown or the next problem or yes. otherwise I think that this is the perfect opportunity for them to do it and we're running pre-sale or you know a sale with pre-covid pricing mm -hmm. um, buying in bulk allows us to do that somewhat and uh, I think it's uh, gonna be uh, another couple years where it's gonna be odd uh, right. for custom ordering and stuff but I carrying inventory you know we choose the most common products to inventory right. so that people will you know find what they want um, you won't see a lot of divergence in color and stuff just right. because those can go in and out of style uh, but really but it's probably you know maybe two or three colors that most people pick anyways neutral colors you know these things last a long time that's yes. one of the things that we try to point out to people you might be thinking oh i don't want to get a hot tub because the economy's bad or otherwise this thing is going to be around as long as you're home right. yeah and there's going to be good times and bad times you know what the times are always better if yes. you get to sit in this that's right? so true right so you get and if people don't know what type they want what i love is that they can come here talk to you and you'll help fit them Something. Absolutely, and we want them to try the spots. You know, mm -hmm. we've, uh, it was interesting during the pandemic, we uh, started doing uh, appointments and people would book time in the spa. So, and we kept that because they come here, the right. salesman can kind of run them through all the different things that we do. And then they can soak in the spots and say, well, I like this feature or I don't like that feature. And they can try all the different ones and really um, match what they want for their family. Because everybody's different. Everybody's you know, it's different. interesting, you look at this spa, it's loaded with jets. Right. Well, some people are just soakers. They yeah. don't want to sit in a spa that's loaded with jets. Yeah. They just want to soak. So that's a different model yeah. of spa for them. So we try to match what their needs are going to be um, so they can truly enjoy this spa. And then speaking of another product as well, we have this option as yeah, well. Yeah, this is this call, we call it Saltron Mini, and it's really been a really game changer for us. You can see it kind of smoking there. Mm -hmm. What it's doing is it's taking the saline, which is a very low concentration of salt, right. and it's converting it to chlorine right in the water. And as you can see, it gives you crystal clear water, um, and there's no smell. You don't get wow. that chemical smell or chemical feel. Yeah. Um, and what's nice about this is this just plugs in. This installs in about a minute. Right. Literally, it takes the time to attach this cord. Wow. That's it. You throw it in. So this is if you have an existing spa. Any spa. Any, any spa, spa or swim spa or swimming pool. We have retrofit kits that will work for wow. all of them. And it starts at about 600 bucks. Right. Right. With the startup kit. 
Yeah. You know, that's uh, tremendous. And we can, we can send this, it's small enough that we can send this anywhere in Canada. We are the uh, sole distributor of this product for all of that's Canada. Amazing. And what we think it does is it allows people to, to try a salt system and just see what the difference is. Right. Another big thing that we've noticed is that uh, um, it's really hard to get product nowadays. Yes. And the fact that we have lots of stock of this as well. Um, it's making it a lot easier for customers. Well, I think there's no question that they just need to come down and talk to you and see what the right fit is. Come down, have, a, have book an appointment, and come see us. We'd love to have you. Thank you so, so much, So nice to John. see you again, Amy. After I purchased my house, I really needed to put a mark on it to make it my own home. The easiest way to do that is to do some DIYs and projects that are ones that you come up with yourself. I had an idea that I really wanted to do wine niches on this wall. I didn't really know what that was gonna look like yet. So we created the niches and they sat empty and raw for a long time during the construction process. Initially, I was thinking I was gonna put flooring in the back to add some warmth to the space. But once the flooring got in, I realized how much the space was already covered with the white oak. So pivoting, rethinking the whole thing, I decided to put the cladding, which is the slats that you see in the back there. It's the product we used on the entry. And then we used the floating pegs to really create a modern look. It shows off the wine and kind of creates an art piece. I'm so in love with it. Andrew, we're here in front of a beautiful building on beautiful Beach Drive. Why are we here today? I wanted to talk today about uh, window replacements in mm -hmm. multifamily buildings and how we work with Stratas to facilitate the process between needing the windows replaced, uh, mm -hmm. building support throughout the building, and finally designing the project and executing it in the end. So in this project, you redid the doors and the windows. We were patio doors and windows here. Mm -hmm. uh, we ran into a few challenges on the design um, on the siding panels you can see behind right. us. Uh, yeah. They were floor to ceiling aluminum windows with aluminum spandrel panels, but behind them we were dealing with asbestos containing drywall. So we oh, were wow. able to design this project without disturbing any drywall upgrading the insulation on the spandrel panels and going with the nice black hardy panels. And I them. really like how the design looks on this building. It kind of updates it a bit. It looks really sharp. Um, mm -hmm. We're really happy with how it turned out. How is it working with a strata? How do you get everything organized? And... There's always challenges right from the beginning. There's mm -hmm. politics throughout the process. Um, yeah. You know, there may be an anticipation of support and then a curveball and a surprise at the end for a vote to fail. So what right. we're able to do for the stratas is um, We'll host town halls and a local library if their meeting, is, meeting room is big enough. Um, mm -hmm. We'll have the entire uh, building of owners out to a meeting. We can answer their questions directly, mm -hmm. get them more comfortable with the process and uh, our company to be able to execute a quality project. And in a building of this age, I would imagine there's a certain point where the old windows and doors just start to fail. Does it make sense to just do those ones or should you redo everything at once? That's usually where a job does start is a strata may approve a small budget to replace just a few windows around the complex that are broken and the seals are gone or they're condensating a lot. But usually what we're able to prove after um, some information meetings is really showing that there's much better value in completing the whole building in mm -hmm. one shot um, rather than spreading it out over time rip the band-aid off get it done enjoy yeah. your new building instead of spreading it out over yeah. 10 15 disruptive years. for a short amount of time versus again and again and more economical and cheaper for everybody and we've had a real heat wave again this year do the new windows and doors help with that there's been a huge jump in technology and performance and new vinyl windows and double pane uh, low E technology since mm -hmm. the 80s and 90s when a lot of these windows were installed. Um, right. You're normally dealing with clear glass that works like a greenhouse just taking all the heat from the sun right into the units. So a right. lot of apartments in Victoria you'll find are overheating like crazy in the summers. Mm -hmm. um, so what the new low E coatings do are reflect the heat 
back to its source. So in the summertime, you're reflecting uh, infrared heat from the sun back outside. And in the wintertime, you're reflecting it back into your unit to retain that much better than your existing wind. And I would imagine most of these units are of this age and type are only heated by baseboards. We so do. that would help a lot. Absolutely. We do see a lot of baseboard heating. Mm -hmm. Energy is getting more expensive every year. So everything you can do to retain the heat um, in the wintertime, mm -hmm. keep it out in the summertime is better all around. It all really helps with the comfort and enjoyment. Absolutely. with Newport Realty and Chrissy's International. With tropical white sand beaches, volcanoes, rainforests, and a scintillating culture, Costa Rica truly offers grand adventure and endless natural activities. Regardless of where you settle down, the overall cost of living in Costa Rica is low compared to Canada. Year-round warm temperatures, political and economic stability make it a safe investment. Villa Magnifica is exactly that, magnificent. This luxurious vacation home is located minutes away from the quaint seaside village of Playa Portrero. A stunning jewel, this home boasts six bedrooms, six and a half bathrooms, and the best views in the area. The wonderfully designed, open living concept is the perfect villa for relaxation. Can you feel those warm breezes? I'm Fergus Kine, going global with Newport Realty and Chris's International. Fred, it's so great to be here in the showroom again. A lot has changed since my last visit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's, uh, we're adding more brands and we're adding more uh, displays and uh, even adding some accents to the displays and uh, the company is evolving. And we're here in the Gen Air display, which mm -hmm. is one of your high-end appliance brands. Mm -hmm. Tell us a little bit about what they offer. Um, Gen Air is technically an ultra premium brand um, category of Whirlpool organization and they are an American brand, mostly built in United States mm -hmm. and they have some of their products built in Europe. They offer pretty much um, everything that you can uh, think of from full size uh, fridges, stoves, um, freestanding fridges, columns, down draft uh, uh, cooktops, induction, gas, uh, you name it, Gar garbage compactors, um, ice makers, everything pretty much. A little bit of everything, depending mm -hmm. on what the clients need, you exactly. can kind of mix and match mm -hmm. to get exactly what they want. Exactly. Mm -hmm. There are so many different options when it comes to cooking. That's mm -hmm. one of the things that I noticed the big differences in. Mm -hmm. When it comes to cooktops, what's the difference between induction and gas? Induction technically is gas cooking with electricity, which is uh, a lot safer and even more instantaneous. And it is easier to clean and maintain as well. It has become the biggest trend in the cooking industry. A lot of people are changing from electrical um, equipment. They are mm -hmm. kind of phasing out more in the mid to premium category. The regular electric is phasing out and people are uh, moving towards induction first mm -hmm. or gas. Um, induction more so because it's, um, as I said, it's, it's easier to clean and maintain and it's a lot safer as well. And some people just don't have the option of natural gas either. And Absolutely. then they're looking at propane, which really narrows the mm -hmm. field a bit. Exactly. Propane is a lot of headache to, to have the supply all the time when you need it. Uh, sometimes you run, out, you run out of it and you have to fill up the tank. And, mm -hmm. But um, if you have electricity, you can get that the same quality of cooking with gas with electricity. And as I said, it's much, much more convenient to have. And when it comes to the ovens, mm -hmm. uh, traditionally a lot of people would have a double wall mm -hmm. oven with their cooktop. Mm -hmm. But in my home, I have a speed oven mm -hmm. with the wall oven. And that mm -hmm. includes the microwave and everything mm -hmm. all in one. Absolutely. So that will provide you technically the option of a double oven because you can still cook in your uh, speed oven mm -hmm. or use it as a microwave plus the fact that you also have your uh, your main oven in a, a traditional double oven normally majority of them are one of them is convection the other one is regular mm -hmm. in a double oven and, or a combi with a speed oven you have a convection on the convection microwave on top that can work as i said as a um, 
as an oven or mm -hmm. microwave plus a regular convection which is more versatile than just a regular traditional double oven. And then you add in the option of steam cooking. Steam cooking adds for people who are into healthy cooking and healthy eating, steam cooking is has become a big emphasis. They mm -hmm. do like, uh, even if they don't have it as part of a combi oven, which they mm -hmm. can have it as a, like a regular oven plus a steam, they can have a steam oven on the side and uh, do a lot of um, their cooking without oil, just with the steam and mm -hmm. um, make very tasteful dishes without mm -hmm. having um, the old traditional oil and just the traditional way of cooking. Well, and when I bring my clients in to see you here in the showroom, mm -hmm. there's often a couple things that we think of. So we've talked about the function of the appliances quite mm -hmm. a bit. You have many high-end ones, very good quality, mid-range mm -hmm. as well. Mm -hmm. But let's face it, the look really comes into it mm -hmm. as well. Mm -hmm. And there's so many beautiful combinations that mm -hmm. we're seeing now. Yeah, it actually, the, what we have seen, uh, color has become a trend. Mm -hmm. People are looking more for color, colorful appliances. They, they match the color with the cabinetry. Mm -hmm. There are appliances that, and appliance manufacturers that they provide you to custom order the color of the appliance. Mm -hmm. So you, we just provide them with the RAL uh, swatch pad and they can pick the color. Mm -hmm. and we order the appliances to manufacture per the request and they can match it 100% with their, with their cabinetry. Mm -hmm. Or they, if they want to add some accents, there are manufacturers that they provide the hardware in different colors, whether it's brass or copper or um, some, some little things that uh, can add some, um, some color to stainless steel. That is an option as well. I love the mixed metals. I mm -hmm. love the stainless steel with that little bit mm -hmm. of copper or mm -hmm. gold mm -hmm. and even the white refrigerators and ovens and such. They're white gorgeous. is actually becoming a trend. Uh, high-end white appliances. We are adding some more very high-end um, white appliances into our display um, because people are looking for it. Uh, we, mm -hmm. we just noticed in the past couple of years by addition of the new cafe line with matte white. There, mm -hmm. there's, there's been a huge uh, demand for it and people are going for it and there is a big market for um, plain white high-end quality appliances. Cool. People kind of get bored. There's tons mm -hmm. of stainless steel everywhere. Yeah. There is even the black stainless steel mm -hmm. which is pretty cool but people just get bored and want yeah. something a little bit different. Yeah, In the industry we call it stainless steel fatigue even though it's a, a popular and dominant color in the appliance industry. Still um, after a while you feel kind of tired and bored of it and you want to have some touch of um, accent to your stainless steel. So that, that's where accent uh, hardware comes to the game or you can just totally go for colored appliances. Well, thank you so much for having us here today, Fred. Thank you for being with us.